this is a small video based on my implementation of uh, procedural generation, path finding, and uh, asset management with cluster uh, k-means clustering. So for the mesh generation, we just have a few settings here: width, length of the uh, amount of quads. So each quad is made of a triangle, and the amount of quads is uh, relating to this number here. So the noise map will uh, is the uh, is using uh, Perlin noise to create um, a noise map, and uh, it's based on the persistence, the laconarity, and the scale. So if I wanted to zoom in or out of the noise as well as there's a seed um, so that the map can always be saved and accessed at a later date. There's a few, uh, there's a height multiplier to increase the height of the mountains and uh, the depth of the seas. Here we have a color gradient which will use the noise map to uh, create a color map. And here we have a curve to um, increase at which, um, which height these should apply to. So I can either uh, increase the smoothness or the um, uh, the smoothness of the terrain based on the color which can help with mount uh, mountainous terrain as we'll see in a minute. Here we have uh, a, a method of implementing which nodes are walkable and which ones are not. So f for the terrain it's usually it's at the moment it's um, just it's got mountains and stuff here so if I wanted to um, say that the mountains and the uh, the mountains are not walkable I would then decrease this to 50% which would correlate to this now here I can say that uh, anything above this point would be unwalkable as we'll see in a minute with the nodes and here we just have settings that apply on run which we can see these working in action and here we have the amount of days which usually only works well with one and two here we have the persistence and laconarity increasing and decreasing here, as well as the seed and the offset. Here we can see the smoothing out of terrain here. Smooth out the terrain to make it much more visually appealing. And um, I think that's everything on the mesh generation for the moment. And here we have some settings that help so here we have a run update which was just what i ran i want to show the nodes based on what i have here and i would do this and this is just going to run through everything and at the moment it's got one pathfinder visual active so it only shows the path of one pathfinder which is using euclidean distance not manhattan but there is implementation of both just in case there's that option here we can see that the path has been found and the nodes that have been um, analyzed and I think uh, no not in this one but if I were to go into here um, and just it, this is everything based on the clustering the centroids the number of placement attempts before it gives a report back saying it cannot do any more in case everything is unwalkable and here we have the option to just show one, so I'm just going to untick this and show you what everything is like together. So this is with the mountainous terrain not walkable. And this is just going to attempt a few times. At the moment I've got it set to five, but this can increase with um, showing. Yep, so it couldn't find any placement, but it shows all the nodes. So if I increase... On here, if I increase this to 10, the amount of clustering attempts. So the clustering attempts is it attempting to replace the clusters and try again to see if the spread of um, assets is even between the between everything. It finds a suitable set of rules. This does take a moment. It could have been better if I split it up. But this is the method that I've chosen. Uh, due to the length of this already, I'm going to have to stop this here. But there are images of this finding a suitable position. At the moment, it's just taking its time as it's trying to place everything ten times with six clustering attempts on each. And uh, that is all. Thank you.